Okay. Okay. This thing is taking ages out of my life. But this is probably the most important fix of the entire movie. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't because it's still being worked on. It requires a lot, but I'm going to tell you what it is. And yes, uh, the, the, the title is not, is, is not misleading. The power of many. That shit's gone. That ship has sailed. That means nothing to me. The power of many is gone as well as the space witches. So this is how this thing is going to play out. And I'm going to show it to you just because, like, you need to, like, grab your mind around it. Again, I cannot show you, per se, the fix, but I can show you where it's where it's at. So if you scroll through the entire movie that I have edited, you don't see any sort of uh, flashback or anything on the uh, on this on the lesbian space witches you just don't see it you you see nothing of it until the very end that they've been talking about this the fact that you know they were robbed of their childhood or the jedi are evil they're not evil like blah 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 he soul tried to protect them they didn't want to etc cetera, etc cetera. so we have all of that right we have all of that and it's mentioned throughout the movie. So in this part where it's the climax of the movie, we have the, the student fighting the teacher, the, the students fighting each other, the teacher and the other teacher fighting each other. Like, we have that, you know? Like, it's the climax of the movie. So it just makes sense that instead of the fucking show having two episodes before the finale dedicated to the reveal of what actually happened, we have it at the climax. We have the reveal. And... Here we have Sol pretty much saying like, hey, I just wanted to protect you. And she's like, oh, we're, we shouldn't kill him. We should just go ahead and um, have him confess his crimes to the Senate and he'll be punished for what he did. Okay, cool. But then... I did the right thing. I did the right thing. I wanted to protect you. I wanted to protect you. Both. From what? Then this is what she says. From what? In the original scene, and I'm not going to play the, the entire scene because it's just too boring. Um, he pretty much, Sol goes and, and talks about how they were born out of the force and these tweens are just like, yeah, you know, we were created by the witches. Uh, uh, even talking about this movie bores me, though. But anyways, that they are pretty much just, you know, this Anakin Skywalker 2.0. It They're so powerful. The witches are the most powerful, bestest thing. They are the most powerful, bestest Jedi. And if it wasn't because of George Lucas, they would be the protagonist of the entire Gotham franchise. Shit, shit, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so here we get a revelation. We get a flashback in which it's revealed that the space witches were actually a evil cult. And we're going to have Sol give a narration and we're probably going to be using either a voice actor or like AI to 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 sound like him, you know, uh, where he describes that the Jedi were alerted that there was this group of witches that were kidnapping children that were force sensitive and then absorbing their life force. And they went to stop them. But the problem with this is that the witches would kidnap the babies so they wouldn't know their parents and they would raise them to think of them as their family. But they're not their family. They wanted to eat you. They wanted to kill you, to absorb you, absorb the life force and become more powerful. And that's where the whole misunderstanding comes in because throughout the entire movie, we we think that, that the twins are just, you know, 
hell bent on the fact that the Jedi killed their uh, ki killed their family and everything. And then we get to see that no, the family was actually an evil entity all along. <gasps> so there's no power of many. It's just like and obviously as I cut this flashback, we're not going to have the fucking dancing like the power of many and shit like that. We we we're not going to. It's going to be portrayed as like evil fucking witches that just kidnapped two twins from their home that both of them were conceived in a normal way they they were you know they were not birthed by the force and now we have the solution to the power of many so that way we have two entire episodes that are condensed into just a flashback, given new context, and that way the lesbian space witches are not like good, evil. Uh, no, they're just fucking evil. They're just this group of like power hungry um, cult that is kidnapping children and eat their life force. What? But of course. As he, you know, finishes the dialogue, the one that didn't listen to the to the story, because she's like, but you killed her. Because at the end of the day, like I said, he mentions that they treated them like family. So even though he's like saying, no, like, they, they wanted to eat you, like, yeah. She probably still had some emotions towards them because it's like, yeah, but just like like my mom, I guess. So there's conflicting emotions, which is good for any sort of climax because you're like, OK, but the one that didn't listen to the story is her. She just listened to where he says, yes, I killed your mom. And now we have finally a legit reason we as the audience were like dude the witches were evil but she doesn't know that so she's gonna like go haywire on soul and that's where like you know the rest of the movie is gonna play but that's the thing now we know now it's a tragic death because soul did try to protect her she he tried to protect her and just because of this misunderstanding, now you know, like, oh, my God, no, they were evil. Dude, say something. So there you go. Interesting, right? How how shit happens. But, yeah, that's how the power of many goes to the shitter. All right. Let me know what you think of this fix, and I'll see you later. Bye.